Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at the Girl Up Club and more information about Homecoming Week next week. Plus, Kelsey and Alex are back to compare iced coffee and another edition of Fast Food Frenzy. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Trevor McGinnis. And I'm Patrick Huber. What is Girl Up Club? Girl Up Club is not limited to girls. Any student can join. Girl Up raises awareness about the six million adolescent girls living in developing countries and encourages American students to give back. One major goal of our EP Club is to fundraise in order to purchase bicycles for female students struggling to get to school in Malaysia. It is a great way to connect with new friends to do something positive in the world. When does club meet? Our first informational meeting will be Wednesday, September 15th at 7.30 a.m. in Mrs. Falk's room. Please come if you are interested. We will schedule additional meeting times when we are together on the 15th. Later in the show, you'll hear more information about Girl Up from Ms. Falk. Do you want to join Best Buddies? Here are three ways to do so. Sign up online at bestbuddies.org backslash join. Then find our East Peoria chapter. Join our Google Classroom code. The code is BM56XTM. Or sign up on our Remind text at Best Buddy EP to the number 81010. The first art club meeting will be Tuesday, September 14th from 2.50 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. in Ms. Loman's room, 104F. We will be tie-dyeing our art club t-shirts, so bring a wash 100% cotton shirt. Email Ms. Loman or Mr. Simmons with any questions. Students, we will be having our annual homecoming parade on Wednesday, September 22nd at 6 p.m. on the Fond du Lac Drive. Anyone wishing to enter a float or walk in the parade, must complete a form. The forms will be located outside student services door on a table beginning Tuesday, September 7th. Entry forms are due to Ms. Roledo by Friday, September 17th at noon. Any questions, email Ms. Roledo. Come and enjoy and learn how to play board games and socialize with peers. You can bring your own board games or play many of the board games we have. It will be a friendly time to meet new people and play fun games that challenge your minds. Board Game Club meets every Wednesday from 3, 3 to 5 and 345B. EPCHS students must show their ID to get in all home football games and volleyball games. If you do not have your ID, the cost for, your, for students to attend the game is $3. Purchase your EPCHS radar refillable insulated water bottles from Hope Club for only $10. See Mr. Hobbs in room 235B to purchase yours today. Interested or curious about high school chess, an informational meeting will be held Monday, September 13th from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the library. GSA, or Gay Straight Alliance, is a student-led group that aims to create a safe place, build community, and advocate for positive change. Members of this group consist of allies and those who identify on the LGBTQ spectrum. If you are interested in becoming a member of this club, the first meeting is Monday, September 20th in the choir room 101F from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Meetings are typically after school on the first and third Monday of the month. Hey guys, Jimmy is back, and I'm back with your weekly Raider weather report. Now, Monday will be a high of 82 degrees to a low of 66 degrees with a 60% chance of rain. Ugh. Tuesday will be a high of 81 degrees to a low of 63 degrees with patchy rainy weather. Wednesday will be a high of 75 degrees to a low of 57 degrees with cloudy weather. Thursday will be a high of 73 degrees to a low of 57 degrees with Partly cloudy weather. Friday will be a high of 72 degrees to a low of 57 degrees with patchy rainy weather. Saturday will be a high of 75 degrees to a low of 57 degrees with sunny weather. And Sunday will be a high of 77 degrees to a low of 59 degrees with sunny weather. So everybody stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you all later. The varsity volleyball team played hard in the Richwoods tournament this past weekend, finishing fourth place and going two and two on the weekend. Congratulations on your fourth place finish. Another shout out goes and congratulations goes to the girls freshman and varsity volleyball team for their win over the Galesburg Streaks on Wednesday, September 8th. This concludes this week's Raider Report, but before we go, let's look at Gabe Hackney showing off his Raider pride at last week's volleyball game. Coming
coming up, you'll get an inside look at Girl Up Club and more information about Homecoming Week next week. Plus, Kelsey and Alex are back to compare iced coffee in another edition of Fast Food Frenzy. Want to do something positive for other students in the world? The Girl Up Club is not limited to girls. Any student can join. Girl Up raises awareness about the 600 million adolescent girls living in developing countries and encourages American students to give back. One major goal of our EP Club is to fundraise in order to purchase bicycles for female students struggling to get to school in Malaysia. It's a great way to connect with new friends and do something positive. If you are interested, come to our first informational meeting on Wednesday, September 15th at 7.30 a.m. in Mrs. Falk's room. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by... And welcome back to another episode of Fast Food Frenzy, Ice Coffee Edition. Today, we're gonna ask each coffee place what they think their favorite iced coffee drink is, and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna rate on four things, sweetness, flavor, size of like the actual cup, and then price. First up, we have Duncan. They recommended the butter pecan iced coffee. Yeah. Yes. And it Very sounds good. good. I've been wanting to try this, so. Mmm. Mm. It's pretty sweet. It's Dunkin'. You expect. It's, it's gotta be sweet. I feel like it's always hard to rate the first one because we don't have anything to compare it to. I like it. I like, I feel like this is like a, it's a good like, like this is a good coffee. Like I don't I'd get, get it again. It's pretty sweet. I feel like I taste the butterscotch, like the butter part of the pecan, more than the pecan. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not super pecan-y. It's not pecan. <laughs> I mean, what do pecans even, like, they have a taste, but mm -hmm. it's not, like, very, like, the there. I give it, like, a 6 out of 10. I give it a 7. 7 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, smalls always make me kind of sad, in general, so <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I like larges better. But yeah, overall not, not bad. that bad. There we have it. <laughs> Next stop we got Starbies. Um, we got a brown sugar latte. That's what he said he really liked. The dude that was on the in intercom. So, yeah. and this is a small, it. which it's so tiny. It's pretty small compared. It looks to... like a baby sippy cup. Yeah, compared to Duncan. Because I only get Vinci's from Star. I actually haven't had Starbucks in a while. Also, it was more expensive than Duncan, and it's smaller. The price was four twenty nine, I think. And yeah, it's like something like hopefully that. it's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Mmm. Mm. I like that a lot. I like that. That's different than like anything I've ever had. You get like different flavors. You're getting two different flavors, right? Yeah. It's not just me. Okay, <laughs> sick. I didn't know my taste buds were just like malfunctioning. I love sweet. Like, see, you said this is sweet. Like, this is like my like if I want something coffee tasting. Because <laughs> I like sweet, like sweet, sweet. I don't like super. I like a little sweet in my coffee, but I don't. It's not. I don't know. It's pretty similar in sweetness as the Dunkin'. Yeah, one, I'd say like. it's like about even. This okay. is definitely better than Dunkin', for sure. I think it's, I think it's better it's just too. smaller. Yeah, it's just like a tiny little baby sippy cup. Yeah. Which I'm not a fan of, but also they, they do that so that you'll get the venti because the venti is only like a couple, like not a couple cents, but it's like 20 cents more, like 20 or bigger, like yeah. 40 or I don't know. I forget the prices. Yeah. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 because it's just like a little bit better than the Dunkin' one. It's kind of you're more picky on your coffee. I've been more picky in the past. You're more picky on this. It's kind of upsetting how expensive it was and how tiny it is. But I yeah. see it is tiny, but the flavor is delicious. And it probably would satisfy me. Like even just a small would probably satisfy me. So I'd give it like I'd give it like an eight. Well, Solid eight out of ten. Alright. On to the next place. So the next one's a little bit of a oddball I guess it's not an actual coffee shop but we got 
the mocha cold brew from Chick-fil-A. Everyone raves about their coffee. Yeah, so and it, this is actually the cheapest one we've had so far. It was like $3.24, right? Uh, $3.34. It was $3.34. So that's not as we've had so cheap. far. No, because I think Duncan was cheaper. Duncan was three twenty four. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're just gonna taste this, yeah. Mmm, that's really chocolatey. That's really good. Oh my gosh! And did okay. we mention that they have the good ice? They have the nugget ice, which extra so, point for that. This might just be because mine's the one that has the mocha on the bottom. I taste chocolate milk. I'm not mad about it but it's just not coffee that is true there it's not very strong of cost coffee tasting it there's like, a this lot of is chocolate milk a lot of chocolate is what i am like tasting. overpowering it a little bit but like a lot of I'm it i'm not mad about it i'm not mad honest. it's just not coffee it's just <laughs> yeah, not mad. Mad. like if, if you I would if want, you don't really like the taste of coffee then i definitely recommend this yes because there's really not much coffee taste at all. I feel like I've tried this before and it has not been this, like, chocolatey. They were just generous today. They're gonna stare at us. <laughs> this is oh. awkward. I don't think it's... Not think coffee. It's... Zero out of ten. Not coffee. But it's still good. Zero? Okay, it's good. So I'm gonna rate it... Ugh. Hold on. It's on... like ten out of ten on the not coffee scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like this is the drinks. best tasting one. But on the coffee scale, yeah. Zero out of ten, this literally is not coffee. Maybe even like maybe a two. Anyway, yeah. the size, hold that. on, let's address oh, me yeah, the size. It. Okay. Do that. They look pretty similar. I feel, feel like the Chick-fil-A's might be like slightly bigger. But I think that These the are Duncan, 16 ounces. The Duncan one it, it's just like you can it's like this is probably all fourteen. Round. So this is probably fourteen. If that one's twelve, so twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah. So it's like right in the middle of what we've gotten so far. So, conclusion, it's not coffee. On to the next one. Oh, no. Hi, guys. Friendly reminder that Homecoming Week is next week. To start off the week, we have Welcome to Animal Kingdom, so don't forget to wear your finest animal print. Then, on Monday night, we have Raider Games from 6 to 8 outside at the Eastside Basketball Courts. Then, on Tuesday, we have Monsters University Day. Make sure to wear your favorite college gear. Wednesday is Disney Day, so wear your homecoming shirt that you ordered, or if you didn't order one, wear your class color. On Wednesday, we also have the parade on the normal route at 5.30. Then, Thursday is Find Your Tweedledum Day, so tune with someone or multiple people. As usual, Friday is Raider Pride Day, so wear all of your maroon and gold. Then, come out to our homecoming game to support your Raiders at 7.30. They're playing limestone. Then, on Saturday, we have the homecoming dance from 8 to 11 in the cafeteria. Don't forget your cutest mask. <gasps> Kelsey, did we forget something? I think we did. The winning class of homecoming will get a very special prize. Stay tuned. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, be sure to go, be sure to, go to the school's website, ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Patrick Huber. And I'm Trevor McGinnis. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day.